And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today is the day we are finally taking delivery of the brand new Hummer EV. We're talking 1,000 horsepower, zero to 60 in three seconds. Growing up, the Hummer H1 was my favorite truck in the entire world. I've always dreamed of owning a Hummer. And today, boys, we are taking delivery right on now. <laughs> This gets four miles to the gallon. So, what are you gonna do? We'll send it. I realize today is the dawn of a new era. And on that bombshell, we gotta dedicate the entirety of the intro to this video to the V12. She sounds so good, so good. Soon the entire garage is gonna be all electric vehicles. We're gonna have no soul, no passion whatsoever. But for a short period of time, we still got a V12. One more for this dog. Oh, we're totally fine. I know I can't I can't film with this camera So you may or may not have noticed the camera the sound looks different. So I lost my Canon We're shooting on Luke's uh, Sony. So Luke, we love you. I don't know what I'm doing Well, we have officially arrived to Jerry Siner GMC here in South Jordan, Utah So fun fact about this Hummer EV It's the first Hummer EV this dealership has delivered and I think it might be the fourth in the state of Utah So we are reaching some unprecedented territory. I am so excited the Hummer is somewhere inside this is so sick. So I first ordered this Hummer EV a year and a half ago And of course naturally three minutes before we filmed the video I discovered that I lost my Canon camera, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm an absolute idiot I would go buy a new camera. I, I don't even know where it is I've had that camera for four or five years So a quick moment of silence for my Canon DSLR camera all right, we're good. Now, as some of you guys may or may not know, the Hummer EV is actually officially the GMC Hummer EV. Now, another fun fact, the first vehicle I ever drove in my entire life was my dad's 1969 GMC pickup. So fast forward, we now officially own our first GMC. Now, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure these red velvet stanchions are for me. They're for us. Uh, that, that doesn't really fit you. Uh, yes, look, it does. Look at your pants. I, I dressed up for the occasion. I legit, I wore my nicest shorts to match the events for this occasion. How could you knock me like that? Thank you very much. Oh wow, there is red carpet everywhere. This is for us, Luca. Ooh, there she is. There she is, the Hummer EV. Now, unfortunately, we gotta actually pay for this and we gotta sign paperwork. Is that right? Like, we actually have to pay for this? Right. Okay, we do have to pay for this. What do you have? I don't have any money. I don't either. Well, boys, it is almost official. So we had to cover all the confidential information with the pink sticky notes, but check this out. So, net selling price, $115,000. We got almost every single option on this Hummer EV. We have some sales tax. God bless the beautiful state of Utah. Grand total, $132,296.23. We are officially signing our life away. Well, I think it's official. We officially uh, own the Hummer EV. We are getting the keys and the royal treatment. Look at this. So we're gonna get just a quick sneak peek. Oh, there it is. So all the Hummer EVs, they all come in white. We're gonna pull this cover off momentarily, but we gotta just enjoy this moment. This is so sick. The royal treatment just continues. We're getting the hat, we're getting the hoodie as well. We got the keys, we're gonna unlock it. Check this baby out with the cover on. The lighting on the EV is so, so, so sick. Obviously, we're just trying to build up the hype right now. We're gonna take the cover off very, very soon. But we just gotta enjoy this moment. This is only the second car that I've ever custom ordered. The other one, of course, was a C8 Corvette. All right, should we? I think we probably should. Yes, in three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here she is officially, the Hummer EV. And guess who's gonna drive it first? Don't break it, you have a history. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Do not do Watts to Freedom Mode out of the dealership, we'll never be invited back. This interior is so sick though. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> wow. It's just like any normal vehicle. You turn it on, you put it into drive. Uh -huh. Do not launch it into me. Uh -huh. Where's Watts to Freedom again? <laughs> now, I don't want to offend any Tesla fanboys or Rivian fanboys, but you guys have officially been outdone. This thing is so sick. 
Bro. The seat just vibrated. Is that a good sign no. or a bad sign? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that I means. Know that we know work. nothing, absolutely nothing about this Hummer EV. We are going to learn everything. So we got basically every single accessory on this thing. It looks so good in the Utah sun. So every single first edition Hummer is white. That being said, I think we might have to wrap it. Massive shout out to Jerry Siner, GMC, and Buick for the unprecedented and amazing delivery. This thing is so wicked. There's just nothing like taking delivery of a brand new vehicle. This thing smells so good inside. It is, it is just completely brand new. It's got 11 miles on it. We have 323 miles of range. We even, hey, 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 Luke, really? How could you do me dirty <laughs> oh, like no, that? No, you keep it no, 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 no. It's no. the most satisfying thing oh, in the world. Dude. It is officially a used vehicle, but <laughs> it had to happen. I love the white interior on this thing. Oh, uh, okay, so. I think, are we are we ready to go? Good to go. Should we just launch it right out of here? Obviously we got the crab walk, we're gonna do that here very, very soon, but uh, this thing feels so nice. Feels so nice. Well now, unfortunately I can't drive two cars at once, which means I don't know how this is happening. Be careful, okay? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Confidence level is very, very, very low right now. That has 9,000 miles on it, this has 11 miles on it, so unfortunately, Luke is driving the events of our road, sir. That smile. Now we officially own the Hummer EV. It's always terrifying driving a brand new vehicle. We definitely just want to get the car home safe and sound in one piece. Another massive shout out to Jerry Siner GMC. Oh, it feels so good to have this truck finally. Like we've been waiting. I, I want to say it was fall of 2020 when I put down my initial deposit on this thing. To me, the Hummer EV is by far and away the coolest EV on the market. Tesla fanboys don't come at me. It's just this thing weighs 9,000 pounds and I can do zero to 60 in three seconds. Like that is dope. And I think the towing capacity is something like 12,000 pounds. That could be right. It could be wrong. All I know is that this baby can tow. We are now officially on the public road. So the stress level has been heightened ever so slightly. I gotta figure out how to drive this thing. Okay, so blinkers are on their normal position, why not? We're gonna take the back roads, we gotta go home, we gotta drop off the event at our Roadster. That car looks so crazy on the road, but also like driving something like the Hummer is so cool because I wanna say there's like half a dozen maybe in the state of Utah. We're just gonna do a mild acceleration so there's no braking period. This thing is so fast and there's no sound whatsoever. This thing is so sick. I am so excited to have this Hummer EV. I wanna make this the highest mileage Hummer EV in the world. World. I think maybe like a cross-country trip might be in order. This thing drives so nice. Hey, Slowpoke, try to keep up, okay? In your hands are... No, no, police! There's police right there! Luke, there is police right there! Unbelievable. I mean, I kind of sort of, I sort of set him up for that, but I don't think he realizes that car right in front of me is a police officer. Bro! Chill! That's a police! That's a cop! Chill! Chill, buddy! No! No! What is he trying to do? It's not my fault. If he goes to jail, it's just who he is. We love him. We adore him. He's Luke Terry. And honestly, he probably should spend the night in prison cell. This is such a funny combination with the Aventura Roadster. Is that a fusion? Since when did the police get fusions? Like, they got, they got an upgrade or something. Bro. Close the valves. This is gonna sound really dumb, but I only have one goal, and that is to get the Hummer EV back to the house safe and sound. Whenever you get a new vehicle, the last thing you wanna do is crash. And not that we've ever crashed a vehicle in my entire life, but like, especially right now, we don't wanna ruin the moment. And we have Luke just doing full sense in first gear next to me. Hey bro, how much horsepower you got in one of those? No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Your car sounds amazing. The Hummer EV. And we go bye-bye. This thing's so fast. How is it so fast? I'm telling you, like, this Hummer EV is the biggest mind warp. It doesn't make sense. How does it accelerate so fast? I know the Tesla Plaza is so fast, but this thing weighs 9,000 pounds and it accelerates 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. I don't think I mentioned it. 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. We got 1,000 horsepower. He only has 700. We got 300 more than you, bro. 300 more. Okay. That sounds good though. Now I just realized my neighbors are going to love me because finally I have a vehicle that doesn't sound like the God of Thunder. Like I can actually leave early in the morning, late at night without waking anybody up whatsoever. I also want to give a massive shout out to each and every single one of my neighbors. I have never one single time had one single neighbor ever actually complain to me about anything we've ever done. Taking delivery of the NASCAR, taking delivery of the Juggernaut, taking delivery of the Ferrari Formula F. Wow, okay. I, I, can't, I can't talk because I'm starting to get emotional thinking about my neighbors and how I'm gonna be leaving the neighborhood 
in less than 30 days. I love each and every single one of you guys. I also just officially realized I have the Hummer EV, I have the Ram TRX, and of course the 6x6 Gladiator. So Luke's gonna park up, he's gonna hop in, and we're gonna go Watts to Freedom. If you don't know what Watts to Freedom is, it's launch control. Now after a very quick extensive Google search, we finally figured out Watts to Freedom. So, traction control button once, traction control twice. Wait for it, wait for it. We get this very nice intro right here. Very dramatic. Watts of Freedom vehicle, lower check surroundings, repeated use, will accelerate vehicle wear. We're gonna hit continue. So now the whole vehicle's gotta hunker down. Like I said, zero to 60 in three seconds. Also, welcome to beautiful Guadalajara, Mexico. It's very nice this time it's of year. It's so pretty. It's here. gorgeous. Ironically enough, we only have 23 miles on the Hummer AV. We are still lowering Watts to Freedom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got traffic. I know those look like Utah plates, but trust me, they're definitely Guadalajara. And Watts to Freedom in three, two, one, go! So, anyways, I'm an absolute <laughs> idiot. I've been parked. I was like, this is not wow. This is not wants to freedom. Wow. Uh, to all the general motive executives, I'm sorry. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, baby. That's wants to freedom. This thing is so fast. Are you kidding me? What? That is ridiculous. Okay. Wow. I may be an idiot. That was zero to 60 in three seconds. Oh my goodness. This thing does not make sense. Like, all the blood is rushing to my head so much. That was zero to 60 in three seconds in a vehicle that weighs 9,000 pounds. How many times do I have to mention that? <laughs> Let's do it again. Round two, shake and bake, go! Oh! <laughs> do you guys hear those tires chirping? That doesn't make sense. This vehicle does not make sense. It breaks every physics law known to man. Like Sir Isaac Newton would be so proud of the General Motors executives. This doesn't make any sense. To every single General Motors engineer watching today's video, I salute you. Unbelievable truck. Well, that is going to wrap up day one of Hummer EV ownership. Now, the big question, the million dollar question, you guys knew I was going to suggest this. I have to. We have the Gladiator 6x6. Imagine for one split second, a Hummer EV 6x6. That's right, baby. How many likes do we need, Luca? Seven. Seven. Seven likes. No, we need, if today's video, like squad, where are you at? 212,468 likes. We will six by six the Hummer EV, so be sure to smash that like button. Day one, we have 30 miles, but we have one more thing. Now, I know you guys have all been waiting for this exact moment. You guys got to see the engine on this bad boy. <laughs> oh, good joke. Good joke. Good, good joke. Check this out. We got all sorts of goodies. We got a backpack. We got a cooler. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. What is inside of this? Zebra cakes? <laughs> oh, what? <gosh>. Snacks? <laughs> don't get too excited. Yeah. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Uh, I think on that incredible bombshell, I'm pretty sure today's video, yep, it's over. Everything is just so satisfying right now. Focus your attention on driving. We're definitely gonna do that. It's just so much fun to push like all the buttons because everything is brand new. Look at that, it's so nice. Hey, hey Luke, stop, what are you- Auto close? <laughs> oh, no. What? You're gonna break <laughs> it. Unbelievable. I tell you, we, we can't bring this guy anywhere. What is that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what any of this is. Oh, we got more plastic right here. Check this out. Come on, how do you use this? Come off. Oh yeah.